Long before the internet and electronic media, the poster was an important means of communication. These lithographed notices were used to sell everything from soap to political propaganda. Today, they're being painstakingly restored to preserve both the artistry and history behind them. These are the signs of a different time. And decades later, the bold artistry of these poster lithographs is still an attention grabber. Some vintage posters can be worth tens of thousands of dollars, which makes them worth restoring and preserving. Posters often become brittle and break along the fold lines. So first, this restoration specialist reassembles the torn sections and examines them to determine if this poster can be saved. He decides to proceed. He loosens old tape with solvent and carefully peels it away. Next, he separates the poster sections with plastic mesh to keep them from sticking together in a bleach bath. The bleach gently removes dirt and mildew to reveal the vintage poster's original colors. He presses out air pockets between the layers to maximize its effect. While the pieces of this poster dry, he prepares a paste of water, wheat and calcium. The calcium will counteract the acid in the vintage paper, preventing further deterioration. He rolls the wheat paste onto a big sheet of acid-free paper and he spreads more paste on a piece of linen textured cotton. He then presses the paper to the fabric and they adhere. He now has a big piece of fabric-backed paper. He rolls out the air bubbles and excess paste for a more even surface. He now reconstructs the poster on the fabric-backed paper, which is now saturated with glue. He works carefully and quickly to put the pieces together before the glue dries. One false move and he could make a real mess of things, but experience pays off. He aligns the four sections perfectly. The glue dries, giving the vintage poster a solid backing. He flips through a collection of paper scraps in search of one that's similar in texture and thickness to the posters. He'll now use it to repair the poster's ripped corner. He traces the outline of the tear onto transparent paper. He cuts the scrap paper along the traced line, producing a new corner for the poster one with exactly the right profile. He sands the edge a bit to give it a more gradual slope. He brushes vegetable base glue onto the cutout. He aligns it with the torn edge and glues it in place, then flattens the new corner to make it level with the rest of the poster. It's now time to complete the picture by repairing the torn images. The tricky part is mixing the paint to match the poster's vintage colors. It sometimes takes a few tries to get it right and make the repair blend in. Even the white on the border has to match. No detail is overlooked as he restores the corner of this poster to its original condition. He touches up the rest of the artwork with watercolor pencils, applying color heavily or lightly where needed. And with a practiced hand, he makes all the flaws and fold lines disappear. By the time he's done, the vintage poster will look good enough to frame. With all the details now covered, he trims the poster on all sides and examines his work for imperfections. The repairs have to both look and feel real. From a tattered relic of the past to one that looks fresh off the press, a restored vintage poster is an important piece of history now preserved for future generations.